Judge Judy. She makes all that money telling stupid people they're stupid. That's basically what I get from her show. Can't wait to talk to her about that. And this is the Hello. cheap brand. Okay. And the girl told me I look so much good in I look so good in the cheap brand. Hello, hello, hello. I can hear you. You can hear us. Wait, which ones are the... These are the cheap ones. Are you talking about your glasses? Yeah. No, they look good. They look yeah. fine. See, and the real expensive ones look dorky. How much were they? Four hundred dollars. Hello. Four hundred dollars. Which in uh. In, in, that's a lot of money. Who's that guy who's on Clock Howard? How would he say that? He spent a lot of money in glasses. Hello. Hello. Okay. So what does it mean now that we're on I, uh, YouTube? iTubes? Where did you get your glasses from? What? You know where I got my glasses? Costco. That's cool. Yeah, that's where I got my glasses from. No, I didn't get it at Costco. What does it mean when we're on um, iTunes? What does that mean? Um. Hey, Marshall. What does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, We're now on iTunes, and I'm trying to find out what that means. iTunes, you mean they're going to download us like we're a uh, song? Do we get a buck a hit? Marshall Phillips. Yes? Marshall Phillips. Joe just texted me. I know, he texted me too. What did he text? Blank. You're, this tech, This is blank, Joe. Did you get anything? I just got blank. <laughs> Marshall, go ahead and where hit are you it. going? Hit the music, Vince. Oh. Oh. Okay. Vince, he yeah. wants you to hit the music. No, we need to do pre show. I know, it's just that Marshall, Marshall. Marshall was in here, so I thought we could do it. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if Marshall even understands. <laughs> no, he has no idea. Marshall has no idea what we're doing. He's just starting to figure out how his phone works. <laughs> he keeps looking for the rotary dial on his phone. He's like, he's right. like here he comes. Uh oh. <laughs> Two soup cans and a piece of string. <laughs> he was like, Sarah, he picked up his he picked up his phone and went, Sarah, could you get me Andy? Uh oh, Joe. What the hell is Joe talking about? Do you see what Joe's Hang on. Okay. We just got text messages from Joe, but we his it is blank. Do you have this, Marshall? Oh. Uh... When I get a text message from Joe, I get his little face. Uh, no. Isn't uh-huh. that cool? Yeah, that's uh, it's very nice. His little face. Yeah. <laughs> so you can look. Like, if, I was so surprised over the weekend I got a, hey, guys, let's keep the show intro tight. Are you sure you want to talk about this on the podcast? Oh, that's what he said. Okay. So <laughs> so what, what are we tight about? No, he's saying keep it. Like I, like I told you in the beginning when you were hired, Dominic. 45 seconds max. Did I do over 45 seconds? Yes, dude. And you have no punchline. You just ramble. We're talking about Joe sent a text about our intros. (laughs) Well, see, I don't know what the hell to say. I just thought it would be real. And sometimes the punchline just comes. Like, I thought somebody would say something funny. But sometimes it doesn't. And there's five people who have to, you know, have to do their intros. And that's why, like, on Friday... When Mike bombed on his top seven, <laughs> yeah. I had something too, but I, I just went to the train yeah. orgasm guy. Yeah, just because yeah. it was like a, it was like twelve past already. So, <clears throat> Marshall, maybe Marshall's was a little long. How come always blame me? Maybe- uh, Marshall's isn't long, and by the time we get to Marshall, it's like twelve thirteen after. Mm. Yeah, usually, usually I'll keep mine pretty short. You guys go I and you're funny I was in that. Keeping so. my short. I said, oh, yeah, I went and got a haircut. The guy <laughs> said that he heard me on Armstrong and Getty. Well, it went on a little longer than that. Yeah. It is, I didn't even realize, <laughs> so I apologize. Well, that. like, see, you talk, and then Jack and Joe respond, and then you keep talking. Oh, because I'm supposed to, to stop talking when they... Well, it's, it's the intro, and there are five people, and we have to break, but, you know, I at 11 know or 12, that. and we have the opening <laughs> clip that we have to play, Okay, well, and Jack now and Joe have got their own thing, so I know, just keep I know. it tight. And 45 there's music seconds. and dancing. And yeah, no. okay. 30 to 45 seconds. Somebody and just, had to tell me. And have a punchline, you know, just have, a, have, have an a ending. Have a freaking punchline. My life does not have a punchline. Just pretend you're a good caller, which is... <laughs> an oxymoron. Let's is, be this, is this is uh, this the podcast? What we're mm-hmm. doing right here is this yeah. the podcast? Marshall, no, this do you understand? Pre- Gosh, how enervating this must be for people to listen it's to. It's behind the scenes, Marshall. People behind love this scenes. crap. <laughs> Marsh, yep. do you understand what a podcast is? Yeah, 
Okay. Well, how, how would you listen to this? Don't be cross-examined, the guy. I just wonder. All you God. need is what you get one of those little pods, and you, you, <laughs> you put it, it under your bed, no, and you the put next it, you hook day, it up to your computer. You cast it like a fishing pole. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. <laughs> it's a podcast. Okay, I have something to say to Marshall Phillips. Can't, shouldn't we do it in the show? No. This morning, you were like, what's up with the 60 Minutes thing? Right, the the seal guy, right, right. The, who wrote the book about right. the Osama raid. You said, "Hey, did you have any clips from there?" And I said, "No," because I don't watch sixty minutes. Because Jack and Joe make me go to bed at like four o'clock in the I afternoon. Understand. Okay, I understand. So I don't watch sixty minutes. So you were like, "Do you have a clip?" And I said, "No." And then, you know, I was like, "Well, let me." Do you do you, do you, do you have something specific that you want? And that's when I I went and I no, tried no, no. to get you some you were specific like, you were like, stuff. No, no, no. You said, you know, just grab anything you can or whatever, and then. Later, you that's came the way me. Marshall does the news. Grab anything you can. <laughs> uses the national. And I'm so proud of the way you do the news. We have the best newscast in the world. So Marshall I start does the watching the stupid this hour long sixty minutes thing, and then Marshall comes at me. You know, here, try to grab this clip, and I say, okay. And then at the pretty much the same time, Jack was also like, "Oh, see if you can g- grab this clip." And I was like, right, "Okay, right." You seem to be and very then tense. I was, and then you I was very tense. I was in the middle of like two clip requests, and then Marshall, you bring the third clip, and I, I was just like, "Well, Marshall, what, I asked you two hours ago, and, an hour and, and a half ago, and didn't, and didn't I say very nicely? Okay, and back off. I didn't give you any grief. But then you I gave understand. me one request, and then you gave me a second request. Right, because as I came across specifics, I thought, oh, well, this will, this will help you find them. I just want to say Marshall does the best newscast that we have in Northern California. I really mean it. It is so – let me just be totally upfront and honest with you. Yeah. It is so, And I was a news director for a little bit. It is so interesting. Not only do you have the news stories, but you pick the, the, the little odd stories that you do pick. Right. You friggin' pick the best stories. How long have you been here? I read, I've read, I've read, like, because I read so much, uh, you know, other, right. like, 40, 50 right. stories, and I give Jack a lot of stories to read, and he doesn't, but then you come in on the news, and the story that I was hoping we were going to read, you have it. It's just, you have a, re- and the cast is put together, your teases. I have a problem. I mean, I would pull over and stop my car and wait to hear that story next <laughs> hour. Right. Marshall hears about my problems with his newscast, because, you know, I... I do it on the air and off the air, Marshall. You know I'm very passionate about news and media. Mm-hmm. And some of Marshall's kicker stories, let's be honest, from some website that says, you know, 52% of uh, if your no, name is spelled with are... A, Stop. then you'll be a criminal or something. No, that's great. Those are great no, things. I like those. That's exa- yeah, don't you speak up, Mike. I question Mike. the veracity. No, Mike's 100% right. We like those. That's what makes our news for, it hits a younger audience. It's not people who are 80 years old. It's sharp. And when he says, and sometimes I look at my watch when he goes, that's the 735 newscast. I'll be back at 830 with the, I like, oh, God, I can't wait to hear the 830 one because I want right. to hear that story. Right. So anyway, Vince. <laughs> Vince is a hater. <laughs> I guess he is. I didn't realize he had this much animosity built up yeah. towards me. Marshall. So I have to go. I got to do something else. But, but you, I, you know I'm passionate I'm broken, about I'm news, Marshall. Hearted. I'm broken hearted. You know I'm, I'm passionate I'm about news. And, and Marshall That's hears why we have the best <laughs> news guy in the friggin' place. We got him. All right. I've been around a lot of news guys. Marshall does one of the best newscasts we have. Some of his kickers are literally press releases from no, websites. No, they're okay? not. They're I great. love Marshall Phillips, by no. the way. Okay, we better start the show. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. You pissed him off, man. No. I've, I, off? I talk like that to Marshall every day. <laughs> he loves it. He loves the attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, na, 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 na. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? Can I just do two things of feedback first? Oh, okay. uh, regarding the toilet paper thing, mm-hmm. Chris Jackson on the Facebook wrote, um, the solution is simple. Well, first of all, we talked about, do you put your toilet paper on the roller or do you just have it, you know, unencumbered mm-hmm. without the leash, son's leash? Uh, he said, the solution is simple. You put one roll on the holder, but never use it. And your roll is, and you have another roll that's oh, quote unquote off the leash. That then, is brilliant, Mike. Yeah, that's a good idea. If that's a, a very good idea. If a chick comes over or your parents come over or whatever, you just toss your roll under the sink, the unencumbered one, the unleashed one. And then there you go. You got a fresh roll on the No, on the roller, I, I love that. I know. I, I hate pulling the... Thing and you pull it and you pull it. I know. This is where you got the roll. You just put it there. But I have been forced because 
You know, I've only had like two visitors in six months. I was like, Chris, you're a freaking genius, dude. Listen, when I do my uh, when I do my convention thing, you got to come to my house. To pick, uh, we'll go together, so you'll be the first time you can see my apartment. What? When we go do the horror convention? Well, say what what it is. Give some background. I don't know. I don't have it written down. It's a horror convention. Horror convention. Horror. <laughs> oh, horror. I'm sorry. What it's a doing? horror of horrors. Yeah. Uh, that you are you were invited to as Star Friday the 13th Part 5 mm-hmm. uh, in late September, right? Right. And, and I'm going with you to what? You're going to videotape it and help me collect the money. Film the weirdos. that $10 per autograph. Film the weirdos who are excited to meet you. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, remember uh, during the other uncaffeinated uh, nation, whatever, the other day, we were making fun of the Lisa Kudrow interview? Yes. Uh, some dude wrote on the YouTubes, Angie bitched about Lisa Kudrow. They're the ones that butchered it. They focused almost entirely on Friends, which was canceled eight years ago. They actually were up to date. Weren't up to date. Yeah, uh, yeah I think that, that's what he meant. Yeah. Well, I, I, I got to tell you, what's the guy's name? Oh, here it is. They actually claimed they were up to date on her career and discussed her recent work. Are you kidding me? She's worked on seven TV shows and acted in nine films since Friends was canceled. They didn't do anything to prepare. There was so much they could have talked about, Mm -hmm. but they just kept dragging up crap from my childhood. And I'm 30. (laughs) I was on the YouTube. Who is that guy? Uh, I don't know. It's it's under username. I agree 120%. (laughs) They, she had the new series where she she the web shrink. therapy yeah web therapy yeah I mean my God I mean that was and that was all in the notes in front of the guys <laughs> if they would have just friggin put their heads but down it's on for two Showtime, seconds dude. and looked at the notes it's on Showtime it has I mean it's not like the Sopranos where it's like a cult, a pop culture thing yeah. web therapy on Showtime well that's hey, that's what, what they have us that? for when they don't when they don't know something Mike or you or I should say well you know it's on we give them the information. It's not my fault they won't. You know, here's the expression. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't force them to drink. All right. Are you now, ready? Yeah, we got to get going, okay. you guys. I'm ready gonna... and hit it. It's five after the Armstrong and Getty after show five minute podcast without Armstrong or Getty. But with Vince, Dominic, and Michael, and Marshall was in here, and now he's out. I think we should put Mike first on the marquee, just because, you know, he's most senior staff member. Yeah, when this becomes a union, we will do that. <laughs> Someone was pro-union on the phone this week. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, go. on the phone, hey, conversation, <laughs> hey, this weekend, hey. When you were at the Walmart <laughs> buying a week. vacuum. Yeah, I have three vacuums now. You know what? I thought about it. I, I once had three vacuums, too. I yeah. had a weak one, you know, just a yeah, kind of crappy yeah, little one. Yeah, I had yeah. the hand vacuum, uh-huh. and then I bought the Monster. Like, Well, mine was $80, but um, so I had three vacuums at one point, and I ditched the weak one. I got the hand vacuum and the big-ass one now. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to me, because I bought the little one. I thought, this is going to work really yeah. good. It stopped working after a while. Our vacuums are amazing these days, dude. Oh, I They're know. They're so powerful. Oh, yeah. When... Like we we had like the carpet roller thing growing yeah. up, and oh, it, I God. didn't pick up Jack. You S. had the carpet roller thing too. Well, my grandparents did. Oh, <laughs> shut up, uh, uh, Mike. My, my my new Mike. My vacuum has a button you push, and it winds in yeah. the wire. Okay, I have one of those as well. Oh, oh. I have the bagless one, so oh. you don't have to ha- put in bags. It just fills the dirt, then you empty it, and oh. and they got the Roombas and the and the Dysons. The oh, Roombas are like cool. I gotta admit, bucks. I like the Roomba. You know how expensive the you Dysons are, though. No, I don't have one, but I know people that do. One Okay, so um, the show started with talking about Obama sixteen making lots of money in the six o'clock hour, and the I'm Osama. No. Oh no, Obama. <laughs> Damn it, Obama. Damn it, Obama. Right winger, you got me to say Osama instead of Obama. Okay, Obama two thousand. Obama two thousand sixteen. What right. a what a great movie that is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dinesh D'Souza, whatever, dude. That fat pig Michael Moore didn't like it. <laughs> I hope he jo- chokes on a tam sandwich. By the way, one, Michael Moore has been a critic of Obama since, like, day one yeah. about, you know, Gitmo and He's the also drones. Hates and black, he hates white people and black people. <laughs> Michael Moore? Yeah, racist. Get out of here. Big fat racist. Get out of here. Hope he chokes like Mama Cass. <laughs> Who's Mama Cass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's from way back <laughs> on a ham sandwich. I am Mama Cass. Dominic. Yes. You wrote a long email to our engineering slash IT department yes. on Friday. 
Mm-hmm. You misspelled your. You write. You wrote Y O U R instead of Y O U apostrophe R E. Explain. Well, I refuse. Like you know the word there, T H E R E and T H E I R. Yeah. And t- well, I, I I give up on that. I'm just going to spell it. One way, no, the hell no. with you everybody lose all else. Credibility the hell with them. I don't care. I'm tired of this English language with three different ways to spell one word. You also did it on the other email that you forwarded me on Saturday. That you you spelled than instead of then or vice versa. Uh, you you misspelled that too. Uh, who the hell knows? That? I don't know. Okay, now we listen to the grunting chip chicks. Those chicks who are playing tennis. Yeah, Ma- yeah. Maria Sharapova. People were calling me and saying, it's sad. what do these girls sound like when they're having sex? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Everybody was thinking that. Yeah. Everybody was thinking that, except for Jack and Joe. But everyone was well, thinking that. I mean, well, do you sure want to say that in the air? You know, it's like... Eh. Yeah, because everybody's thinking it. But first of all, this is my, another reason why women should not play tennis. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Women should not play... Wh- women, is, what, are you like these muscly women? Has it been five minutes yet? Billy Joan <laughs> King. Billy Jean King, right? Lesbian. Dude, Billy the, Joan King, lesbian. It's Billy just competition jo- on another level, dude. I mean, the chicks play tennis nice, and the dudes play tennis nice, and I, I enjoy mm-hmm. chick tennis, dude. I mean, I don't see your... your, your oh, your, it's nothing more turned me off than a beautiful chick hitting the ball and going... So you think they're, so you, think they're, you know, they make a lot of noises in bed? You think they're loud in bed? Is if I was with there? a chick and she started doing this, I would like, I would stop. <laughs> what, leave? I'm sorry, it was nice. My friend in California was an acting you know, actress. Is a weird. He was doing a chick in, in Hollywood, and in the middle of him doing her, she starts going blah blah blah, Satan, Satan, Satan. And so he says, "What the hell are you doing?" She says, "I pray to Satan when I have sex." There was this one chick, um, Jillian Barbary. She's a weather news chick. Yeah, in LA. whatever happened. Whatever. She's still on. Uh, I don't, I don't know. know, but but she talked about. Well, this is on Stern, but she talked about how her mm-hmm. boyfriend, when they would you know make love, mm-hmm. he would like put a gun to her head. Have mm-hmm. you heard about that? Mm-hmm. Anything like that? And like it was exciting because it was so dangerous. I mean, I don't know if it's loaded or whatever, but what a moron! It's just so yeah. weird. How, how freaking weird are people? I just am amazed at how people. Okay, what about Jax? Oh, Sam. That's it. We didn't talk about room. Sam. Damn it. Yeah. Who's the producer? Who's responsible here? See you tomorrow.